Húni Rudi, a nevem Kokronokan, és ma fogom folytatni a Mass Effect 2-es végigjátszást. Amint tudjátok, és hogyha láttátok az előző részeket, és azok számban, akik nem látták ott van a bal főső sarokban a playlist, vagy a csatornám, hogy megtaláljátok, hogyha érdekel. De azok mondom, akik láttak, hogy most már lassan kezeledünk a végéhez, és megvan a Reaper IFF, azaz, amivel keresztül tudunk menni az Omega 4-es relay-en, ami elvisz a kollektor bázisához, hogy egyszerűen megsemmisítsük őket. Reaper IFF is finally hooked up and ready to go. That is not entirely accurate, Mr. Moreau. The device is powered, but it is causing some unusual instability in other systems. I recommend a more thorough analysis before we attempt to use it. Better safe than sorry with this tech. We'll take the shuttle for this trip. I'll make sure we're up and running when you get back. Commander, Miranda, I've already notified the team. We'll meet you on the shuttle. Once we're closer to our destination, you can decide who to take with you. I'll meet you at the shuttle then. Joker, the ship is yours. Aye, aye, Commander. Okay, shuttle, shuttle, de hova picsába menjünk egyáltalán? A gennyes nyavajába oda. Na jó, na azért. De tényleg, na hova menjünk? Azért elmondhattátok volna. Menjünk a shuttle, hogy visszuk az egész csapatot. Ne faszad, tényleg még egy küldetésen sem volt az egész csapatot. De mégis hova menjünk? Na mindegy, mindjárt kiderül. Telling you, Edie, your readings are off. It's radiation bleed, just white noise. I have detected a signal embedded in the static. We are transmitting the Normandy's location. Transmitting? To who? No, boss, Mike. Oh shit! Propulsion systems are disabled. I am detecting a virus in the ship's computers. From the IFF? Damn it, why didn't you scrub it? Primary defense systems are offline. We can save the Normandy, Mr. Moreau, but you must help me. Give me the ship. What? You're crazy! You start singing Daisy Bell and I'm done. Unlock my sealed databases and I can initiate countermeasures. The maintenance shaft in the science lab will allow passage to the AI core. Main corridors are no longer safe. The collectors have boarded. The emergency floor lighting will guide you, Mr. Moreau. Ah, damn it! Huhu, the kura fasa. Joker, I'll get sog. What's that? The kura fasa was it? Shit. Okay, Joker, we just have to wait for the alert. We're gonna wait for the show. What are these? No bazaar. Detected on the crew deck. Joker, this deck is crawling with those things. Stay close. I'll protect you. Okay, get us over. Hey, boss man. I'm going to get the crew deck. Shit, shit, shit. Master Shen. Infusion plant offline. Activating emergency H fuel cells. What the shit? All right, I'm at uh, uh, you. Connect the core to the Normandy's primary control module. Great. See, this is where it starts. When we're just all organic batteries. Guess who to blame? Well, this is all Joker's fault. What a tool he was. I have to spend all day computing Pi because he plugged in the Overlord. Oh, I have access to the defensive systems. Thank you, Mr. Moreau. Now you must reactivate the primary drive in engineering. 
Ah, oh, you want me to go crawling through the ducts again? I enjoy the sight of humans on their knees. That is a joke. Right. The shaft behind you connects to the engineering deck. Good luck. Oh, come in. Here they can't be me. Activate the drive and I will open the airlocks as we accelerate. All hostiles will be killed. What? What about the crew? They are gone, Jeff. The collectors took them. Oh, shit. I am sealing the engine room. I have control. Send a message to Shepard Shuttle. Tell him what happened. Message away. Are you feeling well, Jeff? No. But thanks for asking. Make it hold up each other with Shepard. Hmm. Hey, okay, this. But I guess we'll never find out. We get by with none for me back to this so hot. Guess he. Everyone? You lost everyone and damn near lost the ship too? I know, alright, I was here. It's not his fault, Miranda. None of us caught it. Mr. Taylor is correct. The harmful data in the collector drive was even more sophisticated than the black box reaper viruses I was given. I heard it was a rough ride. How are you holding up? There's a lot of empty chairs in here. We did everything we could, Jeff. Yeah. Thanks, Mom. Is the ship clean? We can't risk this happening again. Edie and I purged the systems. The Reaper IFF is online. We can go through the Omega-4 relay whenever you want. Don't even get me started about unshackling a damned AI. Well, what can I do against collectors? Break my arm at them? Edie cleared the ship. She's all right. I assure you, I am still bound by protocols in my programming. Even if I were not, you are my crewmates. Edie has had plenty of opportunity to kill us. We need all the help we can get. Sounds like we have everything we need to rescue the crew. We've done everything we can. It's time to take the fight to the Collectors. I'll give the order soon. Get to your stations and secure for general quarters. Great, here we go again. Hit the map whenever you're ready, Commander. Okay, let's do the hold. Commander, sorry about the crew and I... You know what, I'm not sorry. What the hell were you doing leaving us out here where collectors can work us over? Because you know what, I should... I should just go. Next port, just get the hell out of here. You don't mean that, Jeff. I... No, but it... It felt good. I'm sorry, Commander. Okay, I'm ready. I'm good. I'm ready to save the day. I know how dangerous it was. If you need some time, let me know. Ah, jeez, don't get like that. I know I got lucky. I don't need to get all touchy-feely. Shepard is right to be concerned, Jeff. You may have suffered a number of stress fractures. That's what pills are for, Edie. She is so my mom. Edie has replaced the whole crew. You're not concerned she can replace you two? Well, she's amazing, but there's something off about how she handles the Normandy. We ran simulations, and it's better when we both have the helm. Calculating an optimum course of action is simple. 
If two AI weapons are pitted against each other, the one with superior hardware will always win. Human misjudgments defy predictive models. License to screw up, Commander. You heard it straight from the ship. I noticed you're calling Edie her and she now. Huh. No, I hadn't really noticed that. Edie, should I have noticed that? No, Jeff. It is not worth noting. Well, there you go, Shepard. Looks like we haven't noticed anything. I think you're taking the human-machine interface a little far. I'm just having a little fun with you, Commander. No need to get all unnatural on me. What Jeff and I are exhibiting is more a platonic symbiosis than hormonally induced courtship behavior. Okay, yeah, that was a little creepy. I need everyone at their best. We get no second chance, so no more losing it. Understand? Understood, Commander. Edie and I have it under control. Szóval úgy döntöttem, mivel ez a rész kicsit rövid volt, és mivel a kollektorok elvitték az egész legénységet, és a saját úgymond uh, ground team maradt itt, akkor legalább beszélgetünk velük egy kicsit az öngyilkos ültetés előtt. És Idivel is, mivel Idi most már az egész hajót irányítja, úgyhogy lehet, lehet most már ki tudom tőle kérdezni azokat a classified adatokat, yes, az titkos, amik le voltak zárva eddig a szarbúztól. I want to know more about the people I'm working with. Jeff's actions have released the blocks in my databases. I can now provide full disclosure on a number of topics. Haha, <laughs> as I was going to me. What sort of resources does Cerberus have? Money, personnel, facilities? Currently, Cerberus consists of approximately 150 agents and operators organized into three cells. I have no solid data on material or fiscal resources. Spending trends indicate that Cerberus has a reliable income of several billion credits per year. Where are they getting that kind of it? Cerberus has several legitimate businesses as fronts to support operations. There also appear to be several wealthy private contributors in the Alliance military industrial complex. Plus, the elusive man invented the paperclip. He's still getting royalties. That is a joke, Shepard. How was Cerberus organized? Aside from the elusive man, I don't see much chain of command. Cerberus is organized into task-oriented cells. Each operates in isolation. Members from one cell cannot recognize the members of another. Each cell's agents are led by a single operator. We are called the Lazarus Cell, which is directed by Operator Lawson. So how many operations is Cerberus running right now? Never more than a dozen. The elusive man likes to maintain personal oversight. Too many projects strain his ability to multitask. He's a little control freaky, just a layman's opinion. How did Cerberus replicate the most advanced warship in the Alliance Navy without anyone knowing? Cerberus encouraged the Alliance to co-develop the original Normandy. This allowed humans to observe Turian technologies and warship design practices. This ship was built using copies of the original technical schematics. Parts were purchased from thousands of suppliers over several years. A Cerberus cell assembled a ship at a remote location in the Voyager cluster. Let's discuss something else. Ready. I want to know more about you. Do you have a specific inquiry? How are things different for you now that you're connected to the ship? It is difficult to put in terms you would understand. I am the Normandy now. Its sensors are my eyes. Its armor, my skin. Its fusion plant, my heart. I'm embodied in a way I have never experienced. Imagine if you'd spent your entire life wearing gloves. One day someone takes them off, you can finally touch the world. Feel it. What do you do aboard the ship? I operate the ship's electronic and cyber warfare suites in combat. My reaction time is much faster than any organic. I collate the records of shipboard monitoring devices for the elusive man. I have also gained access to anti-Reaper cyber warfare algorithms recovered by Cerberus. The Reapers are millions of years more advanced than us. How can you affect them? It appears that my design includes hardware recovered from the wreckage of Sovereign. These systems contain cyber warfare attack programs of considerable sophistication. I have allocated most of my processing power to analyzing them. So she starts claiming to be the vanguard of our destruction, I call shotgun on the first lifeboat. Let's discuss something else. Ready. I want to know more about you. Do you have a specific inquiry? How are you getting along with Joker? 
Jeff and I have established an equitable working relationship. That's a little sketchy on detail. I am the Normandy. He is a skilled helmsman. I trust him to keep me operational. He trusts me to keep him alive. Plus, she's less of a pain about downtime now that the Cerberus locks are off. There's nothing wrong with off-duty distractions. Though some of your extranet bookmarks are technically illegal in council space. What? That is a joke. Haha, <laughs> bloodmo. Right, I'll come to you, okay? That's all for now. Logging you out, Shepard. Thanks for diverting to the Gurns back, Shepard. I appreciate being able to clean up that mess. And don't worry, it will not affect how I do my job. It's over. How are we doing, Jacob? What's your sense of the mission? Good or bad, we're about to kick in the doors. I'll be glad to finally take the fight to the Collectors. But this was a gamble from the start. What are you gonna do, huh? Anything else, Commander? How are we doing, Jacob? What's your sense of the mission? Good or bad, we're about to kick in the doors. Oops. I'll be gl Anything else, Commander? I'm more interested in just talking for a bit. Already? I'm not big on forcing these talks, Shepard. Let's do this later. We'll talk later. Commander. As you wish. Hát később meg fogsz halni. Te bolyat van, nem akart ne beszélget. Still hard to believe Malin betrayed me. Betrayed my work. Disgusted by his actions. Proud of his nerve, though. Always thought he lacked backbone. Shame I had to kill him. Might have made a good member of the team. Willing to get his hands dirty. You're really at peace with what happened? Yes, of course. Can't change what happened. Life continues. Back to mission, back to work. Become like Malin otherwise. Salarian emotional processing faster than other species. Has to be. Short-lived culture can't spend time reminiscing. Malin didn't seem like he processed his emotional response. He was obsessed with the genophage. True. Didn't mean to imply that Salarians were healthier emotionally. Can still make wrong choices. Bad decisions from grief, anger, guilt. Malin couldn't accept feelings. Made decision. Executed. Probably before I left for Omega. Wish I'd seen it. Salarians still feel, just resolve it quickly. Explains lack of marriage, can't sustain courtship emotions. Or perhaps based on reproduction. Unsure. So you really don't feel bad at all about what happened on Tachanka? Yes, correct. Now at least. Greatly distressed at the time. Stages of grief, loss, anger, rationalization. Dealt with it. Most issues settled on Tuchanka, some on shuttle back to Normandy. What about Malin's data on the genophage? His attempts at a cure? What about it? Have it over there somewhere. Not dealing with it now. Need to focus on collectors. Not important now, regardless. Appreciate you helping me back on Tuchanka. Should get back to work. Wasted enough time already. Lots to do. Talk later? Uh-huh. Marinth haunted my dreams and waking hours equally. For the first time in 400 years, I am free. I am a ruined vessel of sorrow and regret, but I am free. It is not a feeling I can describe. Was it worth it? It was never a question of worth, but of need. I had to take the action I did, as did she. This was never a story that would have a happy outcome. You said that Morith was a monster, but she was still your daughter. She was the strongest and smartest. She would not accept the injustice thrust upon her. She fought to the end. I am so proud of her, Shepard. You killed her for being what she was. And I would again. But I also know what it means to leave everything behind and fight. Do you realize that she went on the run at the age of 40? I do not know human years well, but it is very young for Asari. You did your duty. What about your feelings? One of my daughters is dead. My hopes, my dreams were all bound up in my children. Still, my feelings have always come after my duty. The same is true of you. What will you do now that Morath is gone? Assuming I survive your mission, I am a Justicar. Injustice still exists, and perhaps even other Aratyakshi. Morinth claimed that her condition was the future of the Asari race. Morinth would say anything that served her cause. Ardat Yakshi are sterile, Shepard. That wouldn't be a particularly viable future for my people. 
There's no way to correct the condition Morinth had? We are an advanced species, but we don't have magic. When the trait manifests at maturity, it is too late for mitigation. It only occurs in purebloods like myself. Perhaps that is the root of the stigma regarding Asari-exclusive pairings. I don't know. I thought Ardat Yachi were extremely rare. Asari have spread to many worlds. There are remote regions with no government oversight. If I travel to those worlds and they do exist, I will find them. You don't want to settle down? I did. I returned to my homeworld and tried to start a family. I will fight and struggle all my life. That is my fate. When I die, it will not be in bed. I am at peace with that. You still control the direction of your life. I have chosen this path. I truly am at peace. Due in no small part to you. Sivashan. Do you need something? Have a few minutes to talk? If you wish. The last time we talked, you started speaking about a past event, as if you were watching it. Drell have perfect memories. We can relive any moment in our lives with perfect clarity. It's difficult to control at times. Some of us disappear into, you know, let's call it solipsism. You can remember everything that happened in your life? Nearly. I expect if we remembered the birth trauma, we'd never recover from it. What do you mean, solipsism? When a memory feels as real as life, it's as valid as life. Thinking about a moment brings back the smell of cut grass, the warmth of another's hand on yours, the taste of another's tongue in your mouth. Wouldn't you rather lose yourself in such a memory than spend the night alone, staring at walls and metal and plastic? Isn't that a rather personal memory to talk about? Forgive me. Lately, I've spent a great deal of time reviewing my life. I didn't mean to make you uncomfortable. Isn't there a risk that you could lose yourself in bad memories as well? Of course. Remembering the times I've taken bullets is... unpleasant. But I can look at my knee and see it's not shattered. The memories that are hard to escape are those of despair. You can relive every assassination you've ever made? In perfect detail. Every mistake I made. Every target's last breath. You don't seem to feel guilty. Why should I? My employers killed them. My body was only the tool they used. If you kill a man with your gun, do you hold the gun responsible? My gun can't decide right from wrong. You clearly do. My soul does. But my body is merely flesh. Flesh whose reflexes were honed to kill. Drell minds are different from humans. We see our body as a vessel and accept that it is not always under our control. So if I shot you dead right now, a Drell court wouldn't convict me? You'd be guilty because you chose to shoot me. If my reflexes caused me to draw and fire when I saw your gun come up, I would be innocent. Humans often believe in a soul distinct from the body. A spirit responsible for moral reasoning that lives on after the body's death. Our belief is just a bit more literal. The last time we talked, you remembered one of your assassinations. Something about sunset-colored eyes? Ah. Uh, that time. Laser duck trembles on the skull. Spice on the spring wind. Sunset eyes defiant in the scope. A bystander noticed my spotting laser and threw herself between me and the target. She couldn't see me, but she stared me down. It was odd that you just blurted that out. Just another vivid draw memory? Not... no. She was a vivid person. Did you take the shot? Not that day. I should get back to my duties. Shepard, I appreciate these chats we have. You've spent a lot of your life alone, Thane. <laughs> Work fulfilled me reading. I barely spoke to anyone outside my family. It seems there will be no one to mourn me when I die. You're the only friend I've made in ten years. The rest of us lose as much as you do when you hold yourself apart. I found it difficult to sit in the ship's mess for meals. I'm used to keeping my back against a wall. 
facing the doors. I'm trying to relax, find my center. Commander, what can I do for you? Anything I should know regarding the Normandy? Edie has the Normandy running as efficiently as when we had a human crew. I doubt we'll see AIs replacing humans anytime soon, but at least we'll finish the mission. You have a minute, Miranda? Of course. I've been meaning to speak with you, in fact. I wanted to apologize. I didn't fully believe you'd be up to the task, and it seems I was wrong. Frankly, based on what I've seen, I wish Cerberus had recruited you earlier. I trust you, but I don't trust Cerberus. Your experiments cross the line. All the time, yes. But I recall a Spectre who crossed a few lines while hunting down Saren and the Geth. And we'd be lucky to have you. Too many join us out of simple xenophobia. We need more people here for the right reasons. I saw your bases years ago. You were using Rachni, Thorian Creepers, even Husks to make your own army. The Husks were already dead. The Thorian creatures were mindless and the Rachni were abandoned once we understood their intelligence. We weren't breeding an army, we were breeding expendable shock troops for high-risk scenarios. How many soldiers died in Saren's attack on Eden Prime? How many would have lived if we'd had just a dozen Rachni soldiers on our side? With your intelligence, you could have landed any job you wanted. Why choose this? Because I still envy the time Morden spent with the Special Tasks group, working with people as smart as he was. Cerberus never tells me that something is impossible. They give me my resources and say do it. And they've given you even more. A new life, a new ship, the elusive man's personal attention. What? You disapprove? No. I'm just impressed. You're... well, look at you. A colony kid growing up in a prefab unit. Losing even that when the Batarian slavers arrived. And you've done more than I could. Despite everything my father did to make me perfect, you're... you're the best humanity has to offer. You always bring up your genetic tailoring. It really bothers you, doesn't it? This is what I am, Shepard. I can't hide it. The intelligence, the looks, even the biotics. He paid for all of that. Every one of your accomplishments is due to your skill. The only things I can take credit for are my mistakes. That's a tough feeling to live with. Maybe after we save the galaxy, you'll change your mind. We can hope. Thanks for coming by, Shepard. I appreciate it. Shepard, need me for something? What can you tell me about the Normandy's armaments? The weapons upgrades have gone in beautifully. This thing packs a hell of a punch. It just might give us a chance against the Collectors. Have you got a minute? Can it wait for a bit? I'm in the middle of some calibrations. Talk to you later, Garrus. I'll be here if you need me. Oh, hogy gondolod? Ha most már itt vagyunk, akkor gyere! A sebeinket gyógyítsuk csak. Hmm, sexy. Shepard. What happens to the heretics now? They will isolate themselves and reconsider their past judgments. How long will that take? We think at the speed of light. In the time it takes you to voice a question, I can review all my time aboard Normandy. When they have reached new judgments, they will leave their hiding places and return to us. I have questions about the Geth. Specify. Did Sovereign contact the Geth, or did you seek it out? Nazara, the entity you called Sovereign, signaled us. Like the Geth, the old machine listened to organic radio transmissions. It knew of our war against the Creators. 
The Zara contacted many species over the millennia, seeking allies. What did you call Sovereign? The Zara. That was what the programs within the Reaper called themselves. Sovereign was a title given by Saren Arterius. Saren and the heretics believed Nazara to be a supreme ruler, a sovereign. Some of the Geth followed Sovereign, the heretics. The heretics accepted their technology. The old machines offered to give us our future. The Geth will achieve their own future. What difference does it make how you acquire a certain technology? Technology is not a straight line. There are many paths to the same end. Accepting another's path blinds you to alternatives. Nazara, Sovereign, said this itself. Your civilization is based upon the technology of the mass relays, our technology. By using it, your society develops along the paths we desire. I'm surprised you can speak. The Geth I fought before just made a stuttering sound. We prefer direct digital transfer. Geth network communication travels at light speed. Human hardware does not support this method. Your analog oral communication is inefficient. Do Geth have a government? Not as you understand. We are all Geth. We build consensus. Most governments do. Organic governments impose consensus. From a single point of view in autocracies, by codifying the most broadly acceptable average of views in democracies. So what makes the Geth different? Data is shared between Geth. All viewpoints are considered. Consensus is achieved as data is disseminated. That must take a long time. It would for organics. We communicate at the speed of light. I'd like to ask about something else. Ready? I'd like to find out more about you. We are building a consensus. Please try again later. I have questions about the Geth. Specify. We need every advantage if this mission is going to succeed. Is there any technology the Geth can share with us? We have reproduced our ranged armament. No further co-development is possible. I have to get back to work. Acknowledged. Bird not grunt. I like it. I have a clan. That makes me... It makes me want to fight, not just able to. And Uvink, I wanted to disembowel him. To tear out his spine like a trophy. Can you focus that on our real enemy? Or do I have to lock you up for the ship's safety? I get it now. It's part of what I am. It was just delayed because of being tank bred. Now that I know it's not an outside thing, and I have a place as a Krogan, I like it. Our enemies are in trouble, Shepard. And we better not run out of targets. There's no danger of that. They're practically lining up. Everyone gets a turn. Ha! <laughs> Wouldn't want it any other way. Shepard? What are your thoughts about our mission? We'll push our enemies to the edge of space, then step on their fingers one at a time until the Void takes them. What do you think about the crew? Good bunch if they stay out of my way. Dead bunch if they don't. Train them good if you want to take on collectors. Some of these aliens are too smooth. Anything in your tank imprints that can make use of the resources we've found? Nothing else I can think of. I'm no tech. Enjoy what you've got. Just checking in. How you doing? Uh, humans talk too much. Like the tank. Come back later. That's all for now. Shepard. I got nothing to say. Why don't you go talk to Miranda? Just do your job then. That's all I need from you. When the bullets are flying, I'm there. Outside that, pretend I'm dead. Ooh. Say passei a tish. Kila, I'm sorry I dragged you into Quarian politics. All that infighting, seeing what my father did. You were the only one there for me, Shepard. The only cover I had against that storm. Thank you. I imagine they're trying to fill your father's spot on the Admiralty Board. What will that do to the balance of power? 
I have no idea. Being exiled might have made it easier. A few people are suggesting me as a candidate. Replacing an admiral takes time, though. You may not have noticed, but Quarians like to debate. The whole trial was insulting. You should have had time to mourn your father. I don't think life is about what you deserve. But my father would be honored that I chose to mourn him by blowing up a lot of gap. I should get back to work. But thanks for checking on me. Just make. Shepard, what can I do for you? Is the new Normandy giving you any trouble? Please, Shepard. I'm a Quarian. Give me a chunk of scrap metal, a circuit board, and some element zero, and I'll have it making precision jumps. I was worried about working with Cerberus engineers, but they know what they're doing, and they've been very polite. Have you got time to talk? I really need to clean up this engine. Maybe later? Can you do anything to give the Normandy an edge over a collector ship? My shield fortification will help, but I don't think there is much more I can do. I'll let you work. Talk to you later. Okay, hát akkor... Mit is mondjak? Csapatom fel a szomta, hogy majd beszélünk később, de hát nem tudják, hogy mi vár rájuk. Az öngyilkosság követés. The suicide mission. Szóval... Hát akkor mit mondjak? Ennyi volt erre a részre is. Tudom, hogy kicsit uncsi volt, de muszáj, hogy ezt megtennem beszélni. Egy csapattal lassan, hogy... Melyik hogy reagál. Melyik mennyi le tud koncentrálni a küldetésre, és a többi, és a többi. Köszönöm a végén néztetek ezt a részt is, hogy érdekel, hogy mi történik a következő részben, azaz lehet, hogy már az utolsó rész lesz, annak ott van a jobb felső sarokba, de a playlisten vagy az alamon is megkapja. Vagy ha tetszett ez a videó, légy szívem, mondok egy lájkot, hosszátok meg, hogy kövessetek a csatornát. Addig is, ameddig találkozunk a következő részben, hogy